I think we are recording. Yes. Hello. It has been a long time. I almost said welcome back. Uh, like I'm not the one who's been missing, but, but hello. Uh, yeah, it's been a really long time. Um, I know I said to some of you like, oh yeah, I think I'll be streaming again, maybe May, but that was May a year and a third ago. So I'm rather late. <laughs> so yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I wanted to drop back in, do an update, say where the hell I've been and what happened to the streams and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so let's do some of that. I have been making a game and it's a game called Tailspire and it's offered us a really rare opportunity. So I really threw myself at it. Um, it is a completely community funded through Kickstarter game. Um, we're a tiny team, like maximum five people and no publisher, which is great. So we've got complete creative control. That doesn't come along every day. Um, and so, yeah, it's been... It's been a blast. Actually, yeah, this is a side thing, but one of the people I work with on it is someone who, like, when we were young teenagers, we made games together online, and that's where the name of the company came from, like, when we were, like, 14, 15. It's, it's so cool. They're the reason I'm in Norway. Like, there's this weird story arc that just connects up that's made this, like, a really fun thing to just really focus on and just dive into. So that's been a blast. Um, we released to Early Access, um, like, in April, uh, and the response has been amazing, like communities have been kick-ass, they're building all sorts of things, and it's, yeah, really, um, yeah, it's really cool. But, as the astute among you will have noticed, April is not now, so there's obviously this big gap of time that I also haven't accounted for, and that's been interesting. So, I got very used to, in my last job, there was this thing that was like a post-release funk or depression. Um, it was this weird hit, like we would release something, be all this work, we'd get something out the door, it was a kind of big celebration, and then after a couple of hours of celebrating, like the energy would just leave the room, and it was just like, oh, this communal exhale, and we'd head off home and get some rest, and we'd come back, and you know, it was you know, it was fun again. Um, and so I was expecting that, like, I was ready, right, for doing this big release, there's gonna be a thing. They didn't come, they didn't come at first, it was out, and it's really cool, and the feedback's fun, and like, wow, this is, this is interesting and then like two weeks of maintenance later suddenly it hit and it hit so weird i was not ready for it it was like a month of just not being able to think in the same way like i, I it was like all my creativity just disappeared it was this really weird slump and um there's this weird thing uh that can happen with deadlines like deadlines are a source of stress right but they're also this really weird mental tool uh, for, for for simplifying situations, right? There's so much you can't get done by the deadline. It's like, oh, I'd love this feature, I'd love this thing, but it's impossible to do by then, so you get to ignore it. Your brain gets this really strong filter that you can use to push everything away, uh, whether it's in, like, in the game or in real life and stuff like this. It focuses things and simplifies stuff. So you suddenly, that's gone, and you have to like completely recalibrate. It was such a weird time. I'm not, I'm not sure how, how common this is, but it really hit me weird. Um, yeah. That was uh, that was like a month of funk, and then another month learning how to human again. Um, it was odd. So then I was like, okay, it'd be really cool to start streaming, uh, and so I started digging back into things again. And what you can't see out the window back there right now because it's dark is I've moved to the country, and our internet is bad. Um, we've tried two different connections. Actually, got both of them running at the moment. Got a copper line. Where, you know, if the bits are running downhill and the wind's behind them, you're going to get maybe two megabits upload. Um, and so that's not even a starter. And then we got a 4G connection. I've tested it. And occasionally I've been able to get a decent enough bit rate that we could do the stuff that we used to do. I mean, it's not like, because if we're doing video content like this, everything's fine, right? Like we can lose a bit to compression. But when we're doing code, it needs to be 1080p minimum and we need to be able to read the text. So like it, it has just not been workable so far. So that's like this technical limitation. I'll put the deposit down on the Starlink thing to see when that comes along. And apparently there is a fiber provider in this area, a very small one. And so I'm going to look into if they can run a line here. If they do, it's going to require the digging of a fairly substantial trench. We're not near a lot of people, which is wonderful. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. But that kind of puts... Uh, Puts a limit on what we can do streaming-wise for a very long time. Well, for a very long time. As long as that takes. Um, there's obviously the little bits of Lisp content. Should we get to the minute? It's really annoying, actually, because there's a lot of cool things that we need to do. Like, if I get this, I need something in the background, so it's Tailspire for now. Um, oh, yeah, Tailspire. Hello, look at this. So, yes, we have a way to roll dice and play with minis and all this kind of stuff. It's this... Uh, 
communal way to play uh, pen and paper role-playing games. You can build at any point during the play, so if you need something to happen, like someone just does a spell and duplicates the house, then you've got that. You've got an undo-redo history, 16 people building at the same time. It's nuts. Um, but yeah, some of the things that we experimented with on stream are things that made it in. So if you remember, we had a way of cutting into uh, the geometry of objects and doing this nice um, kind of thing inside. So that made it into the game, actually not in the same form that we implemented it. So that could be a thing we could revisit. Um, we talked before about performance stuff um, when it relates to garbage collected languages. We're obviously using C sharp here, so it's a garbage collected language. Um, getting, like these are all separate tiles, getting things to run um, at all, <laughs> like spawn in at a sensible rate and all this kind of stuff. It has been interesting. Um, let's, uh, let's jump over here. We also need to be able to actually take, turn off that cutting. Um, we need to be able to do things quickly so we can cut through and hide things. So yeah, there's loads of interesting stuff for us to explore. We are nowhere near close on performance where we want to get to. So there's a whole bunch of things I want to look into, especially related to compute-based software rendering and all that kind of thing. Loads of things that we could play with in Lisp as a test bed for then, you know, moving them over here. Uh, I have not stopped playing with uh with i have not stopped working with lisp it's uh it is still kick-ass and i still want to be doing more there um yeah so what else what else little bits of lisp so they're in a different bag there's that old saying was it the um oh come on um if i'd had more time i would have written a shorter letter uh yeah doing streams is easy right like we sit down we just hang out we hang out we make a thing and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um, with a little bit of Lisp stuff, um, making something that's small and informative and works like that is so much more work. So I really have to wait for the inspiration to come there. Um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I might even do some, cause like, obviously I'm living a lot in kind of unity land. Uh, so I know I wanted to do some tutorials for, they've got some, um, high performance, uh, stuff. I want to do some tutorials for, for the team internally and if i do that it might make sense to just release those anyway so don't be surprised if they crop up sometime um but yeah it when the when the inspiration comes and i've got the energy i, I could probably do some more list videos of those kinds for tutorials but i just want to get back streaming that would be really neat but it is what it is and i cannot complain live is being very good right now and uh making games is a lot of fun so i just wanted to say hi um thanks for thanks for dropping by and checking this stuff out um and uh, yeah, if I haven't been in touch, I will try and get better at that. I am slowly creeping into doing more, like some of the more of the open source public projects again. So that'll be really fun. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So yeah, take care and I will see you around.